Hi, I'm Kristen Boyd, Director of Community Engagement with the Reading School District. Welcome to this week's Life Lessons from the Reading School District. Today we have one of our fave principals, Gina Beaver. She's principal at Southern Middle School, and she's going to tell us about the life lesson of being innovative, thinking outside the box in, uh, at a classroom and at a school. So I'm just going to introduce Gina and ask her to tell, her, uh, tell you a little bit about herself. So I'll let you take it from there. Hi, my name is Gina Beaver. Um, I am a principal in the Reading School District, as Kristen said, I'm principal at Southern Middle School. This is my fifth year as principal at Southern Middle School, and before that I was actually still there. I was the assistant principal there for four years prior to that. So we're rolling on almost a decade at Southern <laughs> Middle School. Um, I actually have worked for the, for the Reading School District for the past 14 years, though. I was a teacher at Northwest Middle School uh, before that. So I have a lot of students who I've been able to see go through the Reading School District, and many who have graduated graduated already from college and have their own families and many who are serving in our armed forces and also doing a lot of great things in the community. That's awesome. So we want to talk about this, this program that you instituted this year. I know there's no formal name for it, but can you explain to people a little bit about what you decided to do this year at Southern? Right. So I always kind of struggled with um, being inside my office and I'd have, we tease about having like a deli counter ticket take <laughs> <laughs> number for all the staff. And, you know, they always had questions and they knew where to find me and I'd have multiple devices that they could communicate with me on. And I, and I would often say, oh my goodness, I just wish I wouldn't be stuck in one office you know obviously we're still going to deal with the problems and the drama and of course the wonderful things that we deal with you know but we can I can work literally from anywhere and some through some conversations with some, some colleagues and also from an, a lot of time spent in you know, the hospital setting um, I kind of got an idea of hey you know what doctors don't do everything from their offices mm -hmm. you know they are out and about they're seeing patients in their environment they're you know seeing how things roll and it kind of just like clicked in my head like wait a minute I don't need to be in an office and I can do my whole job you know now we're principals of the 21st century we can do things you know pretty much most of the stuff like electronically except for mm -hmm. meet with kids and instead of meeting kids with kids in my office I just meet with kids in the classroom and it's very effective so far and then we'll tell people just a little bit about not only did she kind of forego her office this year but she's doing a principal on a cart idea <laughs> so she literally is pushing around a cart kind of resembling what we would have in old library classes or media yeah. centers yeah. those kind of push carts and that's what she's using throughout the school so can you tell people just kind of what that daily life is like now that you're on a cart what you're able to do that you might not have been able to do before right um well <laughs> <laughs> the cart is a very funny thing, and um, I kind of push it around as I go throughout the day, but it's really more of like a metaphorical representation that I'm just everywhere. <laughs> so when the students and the teachers as well, when they see the carts on their floor, you know, they know that at some point, you know, I'll probably be coming by, which helps them to remember, oh, I rem have to remember to ask this mm -hmm. or I have to remember to answer that. So it kind of helps with that deli take a number thing, you know, I'm coming to them instead of them coming to me. But, you know, the cart, um, it just came from an idea that I had to have somewhere where I, t you know, stuck supplies and things. And although almost all of our files and things are electronic in nature, I still needed to have some stuff with me. Um, so I I just said, oh, well, I'm just going to get a cart <laughs> and we put go. my name tag on a cart and <laughs> off I roll every morning. I come into the building, put the stuff in there, open up my laptop, um, you know, and just start wheeling around the building, you know, and there's really not, it's not a fancy cart. It's just a regular old cart that, you know, we would have given teachers if they didn't have a classroom assigned to them or something, but it just rolls around with me all day. Can I ask for, for you being innovative, what gave you the gumption? You know, you had this idea but actually right. to implement it. What gave you the gumption to say, this sounds a little crazy or a little kooky, <laughs> but I'm just gonna you know, go full steam ahead. Right. Well, first of all, my colleagues and, and my students, especially my students, would probably tell you that I am crazy usually <laughs> to begin with and have some crazy ideas about things. But it really, you know, the innovation and the creativity really um, is drawn not from innovation and creativity itself, but from like being relentless with trying to get things done. Mm -hmm. And I just was seeing that I wasn't able to get into classrooms. And as a building instructional leader, you can't be a building instructional leader and know what's going on in the classroom if you're never in a classroom. And that was very difficult. So, you know, we tried all kind of different things before and, you know, those ideas clearly, clearly didn't work, you yeah. know. So what I decided to do was, you know what, 
I don't need to be here. I can just do all my work inside classrooms. And for the most part, you know, most of the stuff that we do, you know, can be done wherever, in a hallway, in a classroom, mm-hmm. in an elevator, wherever I end up being. And um, it's really just about being relentless to pursue whatever goal you want. And I absolutely wanted to get into classrooms all the time mm-hmm. this year. What are you getting to see that you're enjoying now from that side, just kind of being accessible and right. just being flexible? Right, right. Um, I'm getting to see some great instruction that I wasn't able to see before because a lot of times before, you know, um, when we're dealing with a lot of problems and, and, you know, we were firefighters putting out Mm -hmm. fires, you know, so when I'd walk into a classroom before to deal with a student or to speak with a student or whatever the case may be, I wasn't seeing the best part of the lesson. You know, I wasn't mm-hmm. seeing the students as they were doing their awesome work that they were doing. So now as I just meander around mm-hmm. all day, I get to see what they're doing. And as I, you know, I'll sit in the back of the classroom and I'll open up my laptop and I'll do some of my work that I need to do um, as they're sitting around doing their work so I can actually have some conversations. I can listen and, you know, hear what they're discussing and mm-hmm. find out the level of learning that they're having so that we can go back and look and say, hey, you know what, maybe there's something different that we need to do here. Um, and it's been interesting at the beginning of the year because the students who were there last year mm-hmm. we're like oh miss what's this <laughs> <laughs> this is new why you where, where's your office why don't you have an office anymore so they're very curious about what this is mm-hmm. but you know they're getting to see you know they're getting to see me a lot more and I'm getting to see them a lot more and I'm getting to know some of the students who you know I didn't get to know very well before and that always um, disheartened me we did a great job with a lot of students who uh, I got to know really well mm-hmm. and they always come back and visit and tell us the great things that they're doing but there were so many students who I didn't get to know very well and that always made me sad as well so I had to come up with some Something that was going to get me to know, you know, those students who mm-hmm. I didn't really know very well before and also, you know, to get me in there to help with how we're going to drive the curriculum because it's all new. It's PA core now. Absolutely. So, you know, it's it's very high expectations and we really need to focus on quality stuff. I know you said that the kids were kind of, especially the ones last year were you know, hey, what's going on? How has the staff reacted to having you so accessible? Right. I have an awesome and amazing staff. I really Mm -hmm. do. And I didn't think for one second that my staff wouldn't be very accepting of me being in the rooms. Mm -hmm. Um, So when I am leaving the rooms, don't forget, come back anytime. (laughs) Come back, please. You know, or they'll call down to the main office and say, hey, if you see her, tell her to stop up by this room, you know. Mm -hmm. And and so it's a really good thing. It's a very positive thing um, to be welcomed and invited into classrooms because, you know, certainly that's the the goal the goal isn't to you know um, be checking up on people per se right. it's really to be interacting and to find out what's going on how can we best help the situation because you know it that's what we need to be doing with both the students and the staff so they were very very much on board with this it was kind of interesting the first couple of weeks they oh, ca- sure. were kind of saying how do we get her how do we get her no. <laughs> <laughs> well how do we do it so they learned very quickly that one I'll be around mm-hmm. so you can ask me when you get there two I always have my laptop so I have my, my email and and uh, they they will not, you know, if it's an emergency or something, we actually created a special bell in the school. Oh, very nice. So the bell nice. chimes, and I know it's kind of like E.T. phone home, except <laughs> it's Gene it's Beaver phone home. home. So I call the main office, and then they'll patch whatever through to me that I need. And then I always have my cell phone on me as well in case, you know, there's an emergency. Mm-hmm. Anybody can get me at any time. In, in terms of, I know when we read the Redding Eagle story, they right. did a nice story on you. And you mentioned being able to, um, there was a student who hugged you. How yeah. does that make you feel that they, they feel that connection now right. with their principal? Right. That was definitely different for me because mm-hmm. um, when I was a teacher, you know, certainly, you know, that was that was an all time thing, you mm-hmm. know. Um, and then as I became an assistant principal, um, you know, nine years ago, assistant principals usually deal with a lot of the discipline nature. Mm-hmm. Um, so you don't get to know the students who don't get in trouble. You get right. to know the students who get in trouble. And at the end of the year, you'd get your hugs and your high fives like, look, I made it. I did it. Only 30 detentions later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, did I do this? But, you know, you'd get that because you're building relationships. And really, right. it's all about building relationships. But it's it's really neat now for me to see, um, you know, d- kids who I probably would not have gotten to know very well. Mm-hmm. And I'm now able to interact with them on a much more regular basis. So that's it's special. How do you feel like you might be influencing them again with that life lesson of being innovative, thinking outside the box, trying something different? How do you right. feel like this program and them seeing it in action right. might influence them, especially at a middle school age where their brains are kicking in the high gear? They are. They are. Um, well, one thing that we I always do with kids, regardless of whether they're in trouble or not, is ask them, what is your goal? What's your mm. goal in life? You know, and some of them, mm, I don't know, <laughs> you know, and I say, well, no, that's not acceptable. You have to have a goal. And, um, you know, we talk sometimes 
sometimes and, and I say, listen, you know, you have to think, you have to think, what are you going to do? I say, mm -hmm. And I'll tell them, like, last year at this time, I wouldn't think I was, you know, walking around the school, <laughs> the cart. pushing a cart, you know, <laughs> and they, they always ask me, why do you have a cart? So we talk about that and we answer that. But it's really trying to get them to realize that, you know what, I'm doing this because I need to see what you're doing. I need mm -hmm. to be there with you. I need to see this. That's my goal for this year. Mm -hmm. So we kind of change it into what's your goal and how are you going to get across, you know, this school year? How are you going to get through the rest of middle school and high school and what's your career goals? And it's really important because when you give them a perspective mm -hmm. on how they're going to you know, get through something and it's a bigger picture and that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to see the bigger picture and they need to try to see that bigger picture too to see what they can achieve in life mm -hmm. For you, how many classrooms do you get to a day now? I know it's probably <laughs> different every day, it, depending. Yeah, it but. depends on a day and, and uh, you know, how many meetings are scheduled and such like that. But I know that I was in at least 20 today. Really? Yeah. <laughs> do you have any light bulb moments when, when you're in a classroom, whether it's literally listening to, say, a history lesson and going, oh, I didn't know that, or yeah. maybe what a kid is responding to? Yeah, actually, today we had a situation. I was in one of our math classroom, uh, classrooms. We're in a pre-algebra class, and they were having conversations. Um, they were, you know, they were doing some word problems, and it it related to college courses mm -hmm. um, and they were asking the teacher about college courses and so I was able to answer some questions in there and um, then they were doing more problems and it had to do with high school credits um, and they were all curious oh how many credits do you need to graduate from high school and I said oh my I'm a principal and I don't know mm -hmm. let me call and ask and uh, so I just from the phone in there just called up you know to the principal's Reading office wow. running high and, and found out and they were like and, and I say, hey, we all have to use our resources. And although we're not encouraging or promoting them to get out their phones right. and look at that, it's just letting them know that, you know what, I don't know isn't where you stop anymore. You know what I That's mean? That's a good point. <laughs> it Absolutely. doesn't matter. We have to encourage the teachers that as well. Mm, I don't know, but let me find out is mm -hmm. a much better response. So that's what we were working on today. And that was that was a great moment today <laughs> to see that in yeah. action. I love it. And again, we're, we're so happy to have you on board and to bring this innovative idea. And um, we they actually started calling it the Beaver Mobile, which is, <laughs> again, for a cart. But it, it kind of adds that level of relatability to, right. to kids that age. Um, but again, thank you for being innovative. Thank you for bringing this to our district. And we're hoping that more schools might again, start to think outside that box. And you can already see the, the impact that it's having on the students right. and obviously the staff too, that you're being acceptable, I'm sorry, accessible. <laughs> so we, we appreciate that. Um, so again, this is Kristen Boyd, Director of Community Engagement with the Reading School District, Life Lessons with Gina Beaver, who was talking about how to be innovative. Thanks and have a great day.